welcome back in previous video we have seen how to scale in monolithic system so in in today's video we are going to see about distribution system so in distributed system it is very easy to scale because distribution system is like this okay so if you wanted to scale you just add, add to extra machine to the network it is very easy to scale in distributed system but there is a one very big problem why that problem come it is come because of network because all the machine are connected over the network and the all the machine which are used here are commodity machines means they are afford affordable machines okay so if they they are commodity machine the chances of their failure is high okay and other the chances of any network failure happen is also high so if all the data is present here okay Okay. If any machine get fail, so it get parties, it get out of the system. So all the data which present on this machine also can't be accessed. So we need to handle this case, and we know how to handle this case. We can handle this case with the help of duplicating the data. What does mean? This mean that if there are the data present here, so why only we have only one machine having same data? We can have two machine so if in case this machine get fail this machine also have the same data so we do not have any problem so for any error which come due to the machine failure we can handle with the help of duplicacy and this duplicacy handling is called partition tolerance partition tolerance we will discuss about this in cap theorem okay so we can do this with the two different way what are the two different way first one is redundancy okay second one is replication so what are these two terms let us discuss about this redundancy means if there are distribution system okay okay which are connected over network so if you have a one machine to have a copy of same machine the distribution system so if the same machine if this machine get fail we do not have to wait for this data or the system get any error because same copy of that machine is also present here this is called redundancy redundancy and this is of two type two types what are those two type first one is active second one is passive so in active what happened we have the copy of this the uh, copy of same machine in any distributed system suppose three copy so if one system get collapsed second work second get closed third work here we have removed by this way the problem of probability of failure of any system due to any network call issue or any commodity failure so in active what we do in active what happened if the client come client come so we distribute this load to everyone okay so if this fail we distribute this uh, this this client load to this system. so the system does not fail but in passive what will we do we have only one system which have all the clients okay and we put standby in standby to other machine having the same data having a same copy of the thing in this if this machine fail then then the data goes to this if this machine get fail then the client goes to this machine i hope you understand here here all the machine are active simultaneously and if one machine get fail then other two active but here if one machine in passive only one machine is active if that fail then other machine get active i hope you understand here now another thing we told you replication what is replication in replication here we do not copy a, we do not have a similar machine but we copy the data of one machine into another and have it in a distribution system so here in a distribution system here suppose there is a some data d so we copy this data into this machine and also into this machine so if this machine get fail there is no problem the data is also present here if this machine get fail the data is also present here so replication in replication 
we do not have a similar copy of machine but we only copy the data into another machine another machine and this is also two type active and passive so what are these two different let's see in active what will happen if this is a distribution system okay in active in active suppose suppose the client come and data present here 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 suppose the client come and change the data d to d2 so we have to change the data here and here suppose the client come here and change the data so we have to change here and here so client came to every 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 machine where the data present okay but in passive passive there is a one master machine and this data is also present in other machines okay client can only come to this here he can read from this machine right to this machine not go to this and this and this machine if client change any data d to d2 okay then this master machine change the data to this part and these all other machine get only active if this machine get failure so i hope by this way you understand here what is the replication what are these two different types and you understand the difference between redundancy and replication in redundancy we have the similar copy of machine but in replication we have only copy the data from one machine to another machine i hope you understand this two topic we will meet in the next video about the how we distribute the load as i see here here in the redundancy that client distributed here 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 but this is distributed with the help of load balancer what is load balancer when we use the load balancer we will discuss about this in the upcoming video till then goodbye